access to stars. I have got loads to show you, and like I promised, here's the highlight of our trip here in Kayaba. Access to stars. Can you sing? Yeah, I can stars. sing. Hundred and fifty million of friends. Do you have friends that can sing? Yeah, of course I do. You are the treasure that I see. You are close to me, yet I do not know. Apart from my papa name will be Usman. My other <laughs> name is Wendy. I'm pretty ready. What song would you be singing? Listen by Beyonce. Before you wake up by Adekulego. Rockstar by Burna Boy. Now control, now I switch in the way that you bring me down. Darkness of my heart is the shadow of your face. No shy guy, but I like my bleeds. It's like my guy. Access to stars. here in Calabar and they have got inspiring stories. We've got two of them to show you guys today. Having DMX, Lil Wayne and Tupac as his inspiration is mom as his mom major. Here is Michael Edge's story. Access to stars. I've been on the road, searching for the money and the gold. Praying that my destiny unfold very quickly, never slow. Check me out, you know that I'm a pro. My name is Mikhail Hedges Tom. My stage name is Mikhail Hedges. Um, I'm from a quiet boom state. But I live in Cross River State and, um, you know, I do music as a profession, not just a hobby. I come from a family of four with three boys and one girl. I'm actually the second. My mom is always with me. She's like my manager. I call her my momager, actually. I would say momager. I won't really say manager because professionally he will have that, okay? But um, as the mom, I will still remain the strong pillar be behind him. Then Pops is late. God bless his soul. And um, I started um, my music in my secondary school in UCISS, that's um, University of Calabar Secondary School at my SS1. Uh, it was in his high school, which is also you know, secondary school. He likes singing. You sell him the house, you know, you sell him, come on, Mikael, come and do this, come on. He's, he's, he's in the kitchen. And when you come, he's singing, wanting and rapping. And when you wanted to scream, you are like, okay. I've always liked music from an early age, you know, listening to Tupac, DMX, Akon, Lil Wayne, and the rest. So um, one day in school, I didn't know I could write music, but I knew I enjoyed listening to music. I saw a couple of my friends, you know, writing music during break time. I decided to join them. And when I joined them, I noticed what I was writing was actually better than what they were writing. So we went to the studio and recorded and... I got really good reviews for my first song. So I started taking music as a hobby from then. I didn't know it would be anything serious. So in my final year in secondary school, I applied for a competition in Lagos from Calabar. I went for the competition in Lagos. I ended up winning the competition. That was the first competition I ever went to and I was successful. So that gave me the motivation and the courage to go for other competitions. And since then I've been doing that. When I first started music, as any normal African parents would, they were all skeptical, like, why music? Not even why music, why hip-hop as a genre? Why are you not singing like the rest of them? And, you know, they were all skeptical. My mom too was skeptical. My brothers were skeptical. They thought it was just a hobby at first. But gradually going for competitions and winning and coming back with good feedback, coming back with money, coming back with prizes, getting to travel abroad with my music. I mean, I took my mom to Dubai with my music. So with that on the table, they got very supportive of my craft and it's been good. I keep encouraging him. Whenever he feels down, I tell him, you can do this, you have the potential, you have the greatness. I wouldn't say as an artist, that as a rapper doing hip hop in Nigeria, it's kind of tricky. It's kind of, it's very tricky actually, cause you don't get the support like a normal Afro pop, Afro singer would get, but it's all good. So I'd say support from brands has been the major challenge. I'd say the most rewarding thing so far would be going to Dubai with my mom, with my music. I don't believe in being confined to the space you're in. So I want to be a household name first in Nigeria, then in Africa, then go international.
The audition at Access the Stars was amazing, it was exciting. I got to meet a couple amazing people, some artists, some judges. It was a very exciting experience. I got a yes and I made it to the next stage to meet the celebrity judges and I'm happy. I just can't wait to see how it goes. I wish him great success. Amika, you know my wishes for you and will always be that the cloud and the sky is just your stepping stone. You're going to go places. A round of applause for all the big dreamers where they watch this. Keep the dream alive, nobody can stop this. Hustle and you'll be fly like a pilot in a cockpit. It's either you win or you win. Failure's not an option. I want to give a very big shout out to Access the Stars and Accelerate TV for this opportunity, this platform. Like I said earlier, we don't have a lot of brands supporting hip hop and music in general. So big shout out to Access the Stars. Big shout out to Accelerate TV. Access the Stars. In music, clearing at Francis Eta started singing at the age of 14 and he bought his first ever instrument, which was the guitar. He has also performed on this very same stage as Asha at the African Jazz Festival. Enjoy his story. L E O W. Love the way you say my name. I come from a beautiful place like this. Yeah, yeah. My name is Leonard Francis Eta. I'm from Akang Paloko Government, Cross River State. Uh, I schooled in uh, Madubelu University. And um, we are eight. Uh, most of them are here, most of them are outside. Music actually runs in our family. Almost everybody in my family is a musician, one way or the other. I grew up singing anyway, but when I realized that um, I, my passion, everything about me is about music, and I find uh, fulfillment in music. He is just part of him. He sings in the bathroom, he sings in his room, he comes out to the sitting room, he's singing, he's walking, he's moving. He's like a moving musician. The way people respond when maybe when I sing in church or way back in school or when I'm hanging out with my friends. So they were like, ah, then you're good. You could go into this thing professionally. And so I started, you know, working towards it. And um, when I was in Abuja, I met this guy called H. Pika. He's a great singer, great musician. He's the one that inspired me to, you know, want to play the guitar and sing. I was like uh, 14 or, s or 15 when I started seeing uh, uh, Chris Brown, you know, like Neo, and started telling myself I want to be like these guys, you know. So that's when I started seeing myself like, you know, one of those stars you know, shining, blazing on TV, you know. So I told myself I was going to be like this someday. And so I started working towards it. Sponsorship has been my, my biggest challenge so far. I tried to go to some of my relatives to help me, you know, sponsor me, but uh, everything seems so very, very slow. So that's why I'm here. When I heard about this auditioning, I was like, well, let me just come give it a try. If it's going to work out, one of my most rewarding experiences was when I performed at um, uh, African Jazz Festival here in Crozera State. That was like uh, 2014 or 15 or so, alongside with uh, Eric Bene, Jonathan Butler, Mikasa, Hugh Masekela, Asha, you know. With those these great, great artists, I, it was one of the most fulfilling moments for me. I felt like Wow. The audition was very nice. Initially, I was thinking, was I going to be taken or is it just going to be one of those sad stories? I just said, well, let me just give it a try. And I went, everything went well. So I just saw myself, you know, moving from one stage to another. So it was, it was wonderful. Leo, I wish you the top. You deserve the top. Nothing but the top. I wish you the best and I know that uh, God, the Almighty Father, will help you. I'm cooking something new for you I want you to come and share with me With me Beautiful people People Call about people People Nigerian people 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 Extraordinary people People I hope you enjoyed the stories of the contestants and hopefully you got to know them a little bit more.
This has been like my dream. I want to be a better singer. I'd say exposure, um, access to get um, better deals. Then I'm excited for this I was actually nervous, I was sweating. <laughs> And 50 million. Okay, so Charles, let's get ready. You're amazing. I go fit to change your car to walk and change your life join. <laughs> Every day, not to enjoy. Guys, we are live at the concert here. We are witnessing our five finalists perform on a stage, and two of them will be chosen to represent Calaba at the grand finale. Let's go into the crowd right now and see who is ready to have some fun. Access to stars. I'm relaxed. I was tense before. How did you feel when you were chosen to be top five? Oh, wow. I was, I was excited. What is the one thing you do differently to make it to top two? Just be myself. Bring out my own uniqueness. How prepared are you for tonight? I am very ready. I have my confidence in town. What do you want to get from this platform? Uh, I think it's an amazing platform to actually push myself out there. Calibur, make some noise! Our contestants are going to perform on this stage. Are you ready for them? Let's welcome our first contestant. Ladies love me and the fans adore me. My super story is one with lots of money, money, money. When I become rich and famous. The very day you came to me, my whole life became brand new. Hey, hey. Because I'm for you, eh, eh. Oh, baby, my baby, I still love in your smile. So she tell me, kuchi, kuchi, yeah. Dance and sweat, say, like, say, no fight. We must descend to this thing tonight, yeah. Come, let us get these feelings for night. Hey! And if you tell me, say, make them bend, oh. I know go like your body base. Only time you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't. Anytime you holla, make her come through. I go tell my guys, say, I know they come soon. You might not see, because I took. When the girls get more than you, I want to. Jesus, when they go to the door, all right. If you ask me, now who I go hide? The matter where you see your soul, it's a way it's a Access the Stars Calibre, let's welcome all our contestants on stage. Access the Stars! Stars! Joshua Essien, Victory Okemi. Hey, your Okwo, step forward, please. Ladies and gentlemen, your top two on Access the Stars Calibre are Promise Effiong and Anwang Janet. Access the Stars! Genius here with me, and she's one of our top two finalists. How do you feel? I don't know the right words to use, but I'm just so happy. How did you feel when you heard your name? My heart jumped. <laughs> Pray for me, Madura, for me. Pray I find my way. Go to my mission. 